This is episode one of the cutting season. We are starting off at 187 pounds, which is that This is the heaviest I have virtually ever been in life. If you've seen this video here, you may realize why we are starting to now cut back down. I wanted to do it anyway, but after Japan and the extra weight gain, I was like, you know what? Now's the time. It's been about a year and a half since the last time I was lean, simply because November 2022, I officially said, you know what? I'm gonna kind of push back up the calories and just dial down my expenditure because I felt really run down. But yeah, this is the physique now anyway. After Japan, a lot of food. Literally in those 14 days, I gained eight pounds, which is a lot. So a chunk of this is just extra weight that shouldn't even be on me. So yeah, we're damn near, 100 and, damn near 188 pounds. Seeing as this is episode one, I might as well show you guys one of the first habits I'm going to get back to doing, which is every single day starting my morning with one scoop of clear whey with creatine. Uh, this technically will probably bump my weight up for a bit. As taking creatine, uh, I usually see a spike of like about two, two and a half pounds. As for the supplements, I'll go through those at probably another video to show you guys the stuff that I'm taking. It is time to make some gains. As always though, we always have the pre-workout on deck. So I have a couple of sips now. This week, since I've started like doing the fat loss phase, actually has gone pretty good. I've been more or less eating, well, I always eat high protein foods, but I've kind of cut down uh, the higher calorie things for the most part. I have also upped my daily steps, you know what I mean? Like I've made sure to go on walks. I even walked to the gym yesterday. All right, peeps, I decided, because it's a sunny day, get my steps up, so walk to the gym and back, which is like 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. I've got to say it was super humbling today. Like I just finished the workout. And I've got to say, on the way there, I felt tired before I even started working out, whereas I used to do this all the time, like walking. Definitely a hilly journey. But anyways, before we go over some of the cutting and training stuff I'm going to be doing throughout this period, I thought I'd give you a quick life update. So for those of you that's wondering, yo, how TJ, how'd you get to this weight? Partly it was Japan, but realistically, the last couple of years, I'm more or less said to myself, I'm going to give myself a period just to eat high calories and just kind of let my body kind of relax. I do believe sometimes, your body needs time to just breathe. You know what I mean? Like I've been really on the gym and training and I think my body just needed that extra bit of a break because I just felt really run down and ragged. And in those scenarios, some people turn to TRT or drugs or you can do the more natural thing, which is to let your body just go more up to like a, a regular, you know, typical person state. But outside of that, other factors that contributed was I just stopped doing my daily walks as much because it was just a lot of time. Going for an hour walk every day plus the gym, that's like three, four hours every day. And I had to just kind of keep my head low and just keep working. And working paid off. Like I'm officially mortgage free on my apartment now because I've paid it off. So I'm really happy with that. So now that I've got that, it gives a little bit of a relief. I still want to save towards a house, but at least I know now I'm not paying a mortgage currently. So it gives a little bit of off the neck a bit so I can kind of focus back on getting back in shape, even though you can do that anyway. But like with a day job, uh, plus doing social media, plus doing side hustles, a lot of the hours is done because I still have a nine to five and then doing YouTube and then the multiple social medias and then planning everything and then obviously obligations outside of that like regular things like family friends and you know what i mean like a tiny bit of downtime i just felt like i was getting run ragged um so now i'm trying to focus back on me which is why i thought you know what? it's the perfect time i haven't got any holidays books but i thought let me do a, a little summer cutting season all right folks workout done i mean to be honest i don't typically do a um a upper body workout i normally do push pull legs usually but it's been a minute since I did the last uh, pull session because I had to miss a gym session because I had to go do something else. So I couldn't come to the gym that day. And then I decided to do legs instead of my last pull session. So yeah, so occasionally when I run short on time, I do sometimes switch my split for the week. Anyways, I'm about to go home now and stuff my face. So I'll see you guys probably in a couple of days. All right, folks, as I said, getting my steps up. This will be day three in a row of moving. We're walking. You enjoying the walk? I suppose. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, man. Get daily steps as and when you can. Sometimes it's not that achievable because obviously you live a very busy lifestyle and you haven't got the time. Then obviously I would recommend, if possible, get a treadmill for your house or you have to make more time at the gym to do something like that. But when, in, when it's possible, just doing your errands, just walking, like we're working to a store now. Typically we drive it, but we're walking there, which is like 25 minute walk, probably 30 and 30 back. 
All right, folks, this is the current physique. So over the next coming weeks, every other week, I'm gonna do a vlog so you can kind of see the physique update and kind of give you an update of what I'm doing and the progress. And if I do it once every two weeks, you're more likely to see more changes than if I did it every single week. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna join along as well. For those of you that are starting, ideally, you should be able to see some muscle on your frame. If you don't see any, there's a problem. It either means you've dirty bolts way too long or you don't have as much muscle on your body as you think. But yeah, man, it feels weird seeing all the, the body fat, but deep down, I think there is a bit of muscle, well, I know there's muscle in there. I'd be interested to see what I look like when I cut down again and get lean, so I can do a comparison. It's always good to compare your lean body weights to previous years, because then you kind of see how much muscle you have. For example, last time when I was 166, 167 pounds, I looked pretty lean. So if I get down to say 169 or 170 pounds this time, I look similar. It would roughly indicate that I've probably gained about two, maybe three pounds of muscle. Whereas if I get back down to 166 again, and I look the exact same, it realistically means that you haven't really gained anything. Or if you look worse, it means you're lost. So that's something interesting that you should probably know going forward. All right, we, it is around 9 p.m. We are going back to the gym to get in a little bit of cardio, just because I feel like I could do more steps today. All right, folks, so as of right now, we are basically roughly around seven, eight days in. Currently, I've lost two pounds, uh, which is all right, you know what I mean? We came on track. For the first few days, it was weird because I was being very active and nothing changed. So it's like how most clients always say to me, like, oh, no, I don't feel like anything's changing. You gotta just like endure is the better way of putting it. Uh, keep doing the right things and eventually they'll start piling up. Usually you get the big losses at the beginning and it's gonna gradually cut down to probably like one pound and half a pound every week. With all that being said, the key thing I wanna get across is when it comes to these kind of things, it's always better to stay in routine and fall off it. Me going to Japan and letting down all the limiters and eating everything and anything I wanted because I was in Japan was a bad excuse to like let loose because normally when I go on holiday, I can reel it back in within like about seven days, but because of the amount of food I was eating was too much. So for those of you that may have holidays booked for the summer, you ain't got to track your calories every single day, but try be mindful, especially if you want to be in shape after the holiday, because if you go in there and just like for your summer holiday, go balls deep, going stupid, not exercise, not walking, just drinking and eating, especially if you're going for longer than say seven days plus, that plus holiday blues, you just may find it hard to get back into routine. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next clips. Uh, I'm going gym today, but today I've decided that Sunday is basically going to be my basic cardio day, cardio and, and abs. Folks, we are now around a week and a half, so about day 10, day 11, something like that, into the journey. I wanted to make sure the first vlog covered about the first two, maybe even three weeks, just because that's normally the sticky period for most people when it comes to uh, starting any fat loss journey, because you feel like you've changed your habits and everything so much, but you're seeing little progress, and that's when a lot of people give up, because like, fuck it, it's been... A week, two weeks, and I've been doing all this extra stuff and the scales ain't changed, blah, blah, blah. But when you push through it, when you get to like, I always say week four is normally the magic period. So I'm doing that myself because the first seven days, I was making sure that I was doing my steps. For example, I went from doing the averaging 3,000 steps to, to like nine to 10,000, which is a big jump. And nothing was shifting. I was like, okay, hey, stick with the progress. Because remember, it doesn't all just randomly just... You're not gonna lose all the weight in one week. So anyway, we're on to the gym now. Today is a leg day mixed with a little bit of cardio at the end. It was a nice day. I, I did want to walk to the gym again like I have been, but I've got too much stuff today. I've, I can't afford to use an hour alone just walking. So I need to like get to the gym, train. I will do cardio there, but it'll probably be more like maybe 20, 30 minutes and then get back. So at least that saves me at least half an hour. All right, folks, we have just came back from a mini food shop from Dundee Gym. And what I bought was some butternut squash. I bought two packs of this. Uh, they're crinkled chips. Uh, they taste pretty good. Uh, I'm normally not a massive fan, but these taste good, so I thought I'd come here. I also bought some buns and, of course, some beef mince at the bottom. Because the plan is to make homemade beef burgers, therefore, that's why it made sense to buy the buns and buy the, the low-calorie crinkle fries rather than chip. Because for half a bag of this is 60 calories and of course the all brand because you have to make sure the fiber intake is good by the way if any of you are cutting for summer let me know in the comments let me know what your approach is let me know your calories and how often you're training per week and your height and weight just interested everyone can kind of like you know share their journey along the way all right folks here we are so we're gonna do a physique update uh, currently this morning I woke up around 
4.8, so basically 185 pounds. See if I look a little, any little better. Uh, you know what I mean? I doubt it, but it's been a good two weeks-ish, so I thought I'd just document it. It's always interesting to do these physique updates. It's just like an eye-opening thing when you actually see footage of yourself. But anyways, people, all I gotta say, stay tuned for the next vlog, for the next episode of the cutting series. Be sure to let me know how your journey's going. And if you're gonna start cutting this year, 